Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, some basic maintenance today. Uh, I'm at work and I had a little bit of downtime and I figured uh, why not change the oil on the truck. So uh, Walmart had some uh, good deal on a uh, full synthetic mobile one. So I went ahead and bought this, which is like uh, 12 quarts and 5W20, what's recommended for the Ram 1500 and uh, Mopar filter. So uh, this oil was about like 20 bucks cheaper than if you buy it in bottle. So this is like a big 12 you know 12 quarts jug and um, you know I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna measure it after I got an empty bottle so um, yeah so I figured you know why not do some maintenance on the truck and you guys you know if, if you guys wanna you know maybe learn it how to do it yourself if you don't do it yourself I mean pretty simple uh, pretty simple um, you know process changing the oil so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and set up and uh, pick up from there all right guys before we get started I'm gonna um, yeah, I'll let the, cool, the truck cool down for a little bit, so, you know, the temperature is uh, pretty much down to nothing. So I'll let it cool down about 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm just going to check what the level is at right now for the truck. Alright, so, yep, yeah, as I said, it's right at the safe. So, yeah, we were a little short. I mean, I'm overdue for my oil change anyways. I'm overdue by like, you know, a couple hundred miles, I think. So... Yeah, it's definitely time, so. Uh, the Rams usually take about seven quarts to fill up, so but we'll check that as we as we go. So yeah, let me get under there, and uh, pretty much the only thing we're gonna need is, uh, is a 13 millimeter socket. We're under the truck now. All you're gonna really need is a 13 millimeter socket. And as you can see, the drain plug is right there. Uh, just gotta be careful got the drain pan right here and we're gonna slowly remove the plug all right I loosen that up so I'm gonna slowly try to let this go without getting all dirty Like I said, make sure the oil is not hot. So I'll let the car cool down for a while before you remove the plug so the oil doesn't burn you. There we go. So we'll let that drain out. We're almost done right now. It's about three quarters in. All right. It's look like it's. Catch the drips right now. All right, so it looks like it's all done. Uh, we'll just clean up this mess here in a second, and then we plug it back in. Alright, so it looks like it's done now, so we'll plug it back in. We'll put the plug back in there. And, uh... Get this glove up so I don't get the socket wrench dirty. And I don't think there's, like, an actual torque setting for this guy, so... I mean, I guess just use, like, common sense if you see it's tight. And then, you know, it's tight, you know what I mean? As long as it doesn't drip or leak, you know, it should be all right. So, just use both hands here. Get some more leverage on that. Should be good. And let's uh, we'll clean up our mess with this one because it dripped a little bit. So, boys. So now that we get the oil out, 
you can see the filter right there it's facing down so it's gonna make a little mess over the axles and everything so we'll go underneath there and uh, check it out alright guys we're all situated under here for the filter I got a rag under the, the filter so we don't get anything dirty so we'll try to get this filter out here if we can Alright, so loosen up pretty easily as you can see. So I'll use my hand, I'll do it nice and slow so we don't get anything dirty over here. So I'll just let it drip a little bit before I pull it all out. Okay, okay. Alright guys, so we got the filter out. Finally, we made a little bit of a mess over here, but can't really avoid it because there's really not much space over there. Even though I put a rag, which kind of helped, it still got it like pretty, pretty dirty, but nothing you can avoid. So, uh, at least we got it out. I mean, it sucks that it's, it's kind of facing down like this, so it's all dripping on you. But uh, one thing to look for is make sure that the gasket is on the filter still, because sometimes you get it stuck up there. And then you'll have a double deck gasket when you put a put your new filter. So, yeah, we'll go clean this up a little bit, and then we'll put the new filter on. All right. Before I install the new filter, I'm gonna remove this little rag that I had here. And place it right there. And try to clean up, clean up around the area here, the mess that we made before before we install a new filter in there. So I mean we'll do our best with cleaning up but I got the new filter right here. I mean some people you know like to oil the the gasket but I I'll just I just you know there's plenty of oil up there if you can see. So once we, we install it in there it's gonna you know it's gonna get wet anyway so We'll just go and put this in there. With one ink, I was pretty much able to, you know, remove it. So, yeah, use it. You can tighten as much as you can by hand. There we go. And that's pretty good right there. All right, so we'll go out get rid of this oil and um, put in the new oil all right guys so uh, one thing I might have forgot to mention is uh, when you draining the plug the oil make sure you remove the oil cap so you can air it out and suck everything down because otherwise there'll be some some oil stuck in the pan so yeah uh, make sure you do that so now we got the filter in the oil is out so I'm gonna be putting in the new oil so the oil I bought is uh, it was on sale, so it came in like 12 quarts in a bag like this. So I got an empty bottle that I like, cleaned out pretty good. So I'm gonna measure it by that. So I'll go in and uh, you know dump this in here. Uh, so I think it's better if we put it in the bag. In the box actually not a bag so go take this litter and go out and we'll just put it in there all right there we go so I'll fill out this uh, five quarts bottle and then um, I'll put another two quarts since uh since the ram takes uh seven quarts put the funnel in there and let's be careful not to spill this all right well, we got a little bit of spillage
Now I'll go fill up another two quarts to make it seven and then we'll check the dipstick afterwards. Five quarts is in. We'll get another two quarts right now. And we should be good to go. Boys, so we got another two quarts in there. And uh, we'll go and dump it in here without spilling it, of course. That should bring us to about seven quarts. Like I said, this was just a bottle I cleaned out and used it just to measure. And that's seven quarts in there. All right, so let's check the level right now, see where we at. All right guys, so to start off the truck, we'll check the oil level right now. Uh, we're running a little bit higher than the state zone, but I think it's just because the car needs to run and the uh, filter was stuck on some of it too. So I think we're good for now with seven cores. Let's take a look then. Yep, so we're right at the safe zone, so I think we should be good with this level right now. A nice trick to, uh, not a trick, but the way I clean the oil that spills, I use a brake cleaner. This is just one of the brands I bought on sale, but, you know, all the excess oil that spilled, you know, this should be, should remove it. So we'll hit it up down there a little bit too. I'll go from under here. If I can get to it. We'll get the oil pan, a little bit of leakage right there, and a little bit down there. And that should do it. And if you don't have a pressure washer in hand, brake cleaner also cleans the pan of the oil. I, mean, I already drained it up pretty good, but it's just to clean it out. And then we'll wash it later. All right, guys. So uh, let's reset this light really quick. So we'll go down to messages, and I have one because I was overdue on my oil change, as you can see right there. And um, there we go. And we'll hold the little arrow to the right. And we're good to go. Now we got 100% oil life. So yeah, I hope you guys, uh, oh, we got the oil change done. And I hope you guys learned something, enjoyed the video. I tried to do my best. It wasn't the easiest thing to film, but we got it done. Fairly easy process. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys do your own, you know, going forward. You know, it's a nice, easy process and, you know, it's, it's fun to do. So, and you save some money in the meanwhile. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, give it a thumbs up, so it helps it out. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel because it motivates me to keep going, making the videos, you know. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.